Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's a bit of a different project share. It's not paper crafts. I just made some small gifts for my coworkers that I'm gonna be giving to them tomorrow because we're having our department Christmas lunch tomorrow. So I wanted to get them done before that because this will be the last time that I will be in the office this year because I usually work from home. And so I really wanted to get it done and I wanted to share it with you guys in case you'll be interested in seeing them. And I'm also going to be packaging them up as well because again, I'm going to make them all super cute and I'm so excited because I am loving the way these have turned out. So I have made the cute mug toppers. So I'm going to be gifting them the Ray Dunn mugs that I found at HomeSense. This one says Candy Cane Lane. It is so super cute because it's red on the bottom or inside I should say, not on the bottom. Inside it's red. This is my favorite of the bunch. I just grabbed whatever I could find <laughs> and I love this one. I actually picked this one up for myself as well. So the mug topper there are so many tutorials for on YouTube as well as on Instagram and it's made using the spackling and I know in the States you can find it at Dollar Tree. It's not in our Dollar Trees. I've looked for so long <laughs> but they are at Walmart so I picked it up at Walmart and I went with a gingerbread and peppermint theme as you can see. It's my favorite theme for Christmas and I just decorated it using some of these peppermints and candy canes. I have a couple of these gingerbread cookies and a polymer candy cane. These are all from Ali. The berry and the styrofoam bulb, those are from Dollar Tree. The beads, I think they were part of a necklace that I got, got I can't remember where I got it, but I just deconstructed the necklace and had all these red beads. So I included those and then I have a paper straw and then I included a cinnamon stick which I loved because it gives a different texture but then you can also smell the cinnamon and I love the smell of cinnamon. And then I have a Dollar Tree snowflake in the back here. And then finally this super cute Gingy is from Daiso and he's made out of felt. I love these. These are so so cute. Also. I made some cards and they are all pretty much the same. I did kind of change up the buttons and the bows but that's really about it. Otherwise they're exactly the same so I used my favorite card base from Michaels so I was able to find the same size in their card making section. I had no idea <laughs> like they're there all year round so I picked up another pack because the ones I got from Christmas, I think a couple of years ago, are completely out because these are my favorite size when it comes to making cards. And I just matted it using, I don't know if you can see it, but I have this white paper pad that has this kind of white on white kind of pattern. I don't know, it's really hard to explain. And then I matted it using this paper that I got from a Michaels paper pad called Holiday Ballet. Oops. <laughs> and I cut that out using a die from Ali. And I just love the peppermint vibes it was giving. And then I have a snowflake. I don't know if you can see it, but I cut out a white glitter just for some extra texture. That's a die from Michaels. The cute Gingy is a die from, I think it was DIY Art Bin store. And the Fa La 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 La. Love this die. It's got that offset. I got that on Ali as well. I don't know if that one's available anymore just because I got it a while back. And then the Jingle Bell dies also from Ali. I also have one down here. And then I used some of that mesh tubing to make a bow and included a peppermint polymer clay bit in the center. So, like I said, they're all pretty much the same. You don't really change them up too much, but I thought I'd share them with you because I do love the way they turned out. They're simple because I had to make four, so <laughs> I couldn't go too much. And none of them are like, you know, crafters, so I don't know if they'd appreciate the super layered cards I usually make. Anyway, so back to my 
mug topper. I did want to mention also that I sprinkled some polymer clay bits. Well, not sprinkled. I actually physically, like, manually put them in there. But I love the inclusion of the brown ones because it kind of looks like chocolate chips. And that mix I got from Ali as well. Super, super cute. I love it. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to package this bad boy up. So I've got this massive bag I got from Daiso. So first, I've kind of tested this out because I wanted to make sure that, you know, I'm not spending too much time on camera. But I tried the basket bags from Dollar Tree. I was not happy with them because they're kind of foggy. You can't really see it. And it didn't make that satisfying crinkly noise because I don't know. I know some people really hate it, but I love it. I love the crinkly. So <laughs> don't worry. I will put on some music while I'm packaging it up. But I just wanted to show you my process. So this bag is massive and it's the perfect size for the mug as well as the mug topper. I will be wrapping that up whoopsies, using some of this beautiful red mesh ribbon I got from Dollar Tree. Of course, I'm using the mesh tubing because I love this stuff. And that's like an iridescent. I also found a candy cane version in Dollarama, which I will do a haul video for. So stay tuned for that. And then using the twisty ties that Carol had gifted me in her group swap. I am including a red jingle bell and this kind of disco ball looking ornament. And these come from Dollarama. Here are the bells. These are $1.50. And then this little tub here has quite a bit of these small ornaments. They come in gold and silver. These are only $2.25. And again, these are from Dollarama. So again, I just threaded them through the twisty tie. These are so handy. Carol, if you are watching, thank you so much again for including these. I've used them so much already. <laughs> and then, so, oh, one other thing. I'm actually going to include something inside. So I have some tape on here just because it does tend to move around, but... Okay, so in here, I have some chocolates. So I'm going to include some chocolates. Seven, nine. And then I have these candy cane spoons I got from Dollarama. These were $1.75. So it's kind of like a three-in-one present, you know, with the mug, the topper, and the goodies I have inside. And it didn't cost me very much. I mean, I think I'm spending maybe $12 a person because <laughs> obviously the most expensive portion of it is the mug itself. So I'm going to include that as well. And then, of course, I grabbed some hot chocolate. And this I also grabbed at Dollarama. And look at the cute little size that they come in. How perfect is it? It just slides right in. Slightly low, tall, but I can just kind of bend it down a little bit. So that way, when I put the mug topper on, it's a little surprise. So I, I kind of made like, you know, kind of like a hot chocolate kit, except I couldn't find any vegan marshmallows, and so I'm not including marshmallows, but so instead I decided to include the chocolates. So, so cute. Okay, so I'm going to put some tape on this guy. So I'm just putting it on the inside like this and then this and then that will flap down where I can just rest my mug topper 
on top and that way just it just you know it won't move so okie dokie so I'm going to package this up And I love the fact that it, well, I don't know if you can hear the jingle bell, but <laughs> love it. So, so cute. So I will be packaging up all four with you guys. I won't go over them too much because I did pretty much the same for all four mug toppers. So here's the next one. As you can see, pretty much did the same thing. So gonna package this up next one so you can see decorated very similarly
here's the last one. I love these gingies. They're so cute. And they came with, it's like a banner, so they came with five. So it's perfect for this project. So that was my last one. I just taped it on the back because it was kind of sticking out a little bit. But look how cute these have turned out. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about these and if you uh, maybe plan on making some for yourself. I'm certainly going to make one for myself. I haven't made one yet, but now that I see how cute it is, I'm definitely going to make one for myself. So. Yeah, thank you again so much for watching. And as always, please stay safe, please stay healthy. And until next video, have an awesome day. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.